Hey, good morning, everyone. It's Dr. Howard here. Listen, I want to, um, I'm posting this video because I want to have a, an instructional video for all my patients to look at and be able to view when they have questions about how to perform their subcutaneous injections of testosterone. And before I do that, though, I want to spend just a couple of minutes talking about why I changed my dosing from a intramuscular route from, uh, to a subcutaneous route. So I'm going to go through a couple of principles first. We're really the reason why I wanted to change my route of administration was because I wanted to have more consistent levels of testosterone in my system. And the concern that I had was that I would put my testosterone into a muscle and that if I worked out or exercised that it would very quickly sort of get pumped into my system and I would have a pretty high level, but then I would quickly come back down. And that can lead to a couple of things. One, it can lead to you not feeling so good. The other thing is that can lead to acne, kind of rapid ups and downs of your testosterone level can cause acne. And so I was facing that a little bit with some acne on my back and I wanted to kind of do what I could to fix that. So just so you guys know, as an update, two months now after doing twice a week subcutaneous injections and listen there's been times where i kind of forgot and i would do a once a week intramuscular injection but for the most part i've been doing twice a week sub q injections i, I mean i feel great um, i definitely don't have like this big boost kind of in the day or two following the injection like i normally would have if i was doing an intramuscular injection but i also don't have acne anymore um, so I've noticed that I feel pretty good consistently all the time. My energy level doesn't tend to go up and down, which is great. Um, and the other thing is, is that I'm just not dealing with the acne. So it's, it's great for that. But look, let's take a second. We're going to look on the board and I want to show you guys why I uh, went this route and sort of what happens when you do a subcutaneous injection. Okay, so in looking at this, you can kind of see here, I've got a diagram of the skin talking about the dermis, the fatty layer sort of underneath the dermis, and then the muscle layer down here. Uh, we did a different sort of diagram, same thing here. But basically what happens when you do an intramuscular injection, you're sort of going through the dermis down into the muscle and the medicine sort of gets deposited in here, right? If you exercise or you work out or whatever, that's lighting is terrible, or you work out or whatever, then this medicine here can get pumped out into your system rather quickly, right? Same thing if it was down here, for example, where you have a big sort of lump of testosterone sitting in your system and there it's going to get pumped out, right? And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Some guys prefer that type of injection. They prefer the way it makes them feel. They prefer it because it's easy and they do it once a week. But if we put this injection here into the fatty layer, right, then what happens is, is that in the fatty layer, it sort of acts as a reservoir. It'll hold on to the testosterone a little bit longer. And therefore, it's going to make it, um, it keep your, your levels more even throughout um, the course of the week. All right, so now we're going to jump right into doing a testosterone injection and let you guys sort of see what that looks like. Okay, so here we have testosterone. We have our gauze pad, a 25-gauge needle, an 18-gauge needle, an alcohol wipe, and our syringe. So what we're going to do is I'm going to fix, take this uh, syringe out of here, okay? And because I want to draw first, I'm going to use the 18-gauge needle. Ours is pink here, okay? and I'm going to attach that to the syringe. Next, I'm going to take my vial of testosterone and I'm going to cleanse the top of it with an alcohol wipe. I'll use the same alcohol wipe again in just a second. Get my microphone over here where you guys can hear. Okay, now we're going to take out the testosterone. Since I'm doing a twice weekly injection and I wanna get 150 milligrams per week, I want to take half of my dose today and then half again about three or four days later. And so I'm going to take, normally I would take 0.75 cc's of a 200 milligram per ml uh, concentration of testosterone. Normally I would take 0.75 cc's of this once a week. So I want to half that. So I'm going to go to 0.38 cc's of this testosterone. So let's pull that up into our syringe. So you can see here, I'm going to kind of hold the, the angle's not so good. But anyway, the point is we're going to get our testosterone out there. A little air bubble in there. You always see that air bubble. Let's push it back in. And then what we're going to do is pull up 0.38 cc's of the testosterone. And there we go. Okay. So you guys can see in here on the syringe, 0.38. Okay. Now then, this syringe, or I'm sorry, the barrel of the needle is still full of testosterone. So right here, there's a little, gonna be a little air bubble. I'm gonna pull back on this plunger. It's gonna get all the testosterone out of the barrel of the needle. So we'll do that till we see the air bubble right there. It is probably hard for you to see. Maybe you can kind of get that there a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna take this 
needle off and we are going to attach our injection needle which is a 25 gauge one and a half inch needle much smaller than the other needle in terms of its diameter okay so now we're going to prepare the site for injection and actually inject this okay so the preferred site is kind of here on the love handle okay in this area so that's what we're going to use uh, for our, our you know our location I typically switch sides once every week okay so alcohol swab And so the goal here is to actually put the testosterone sort of in this area, but right underneath the skin. And I'm going to pinch the skin up like this, and I want to inject it going sort of long ways, if you will, sort of back underneath the skin. And so that I'm laying down, if you will, a bead, almost like I'm caulking something, where I'm laying down this injection of testosterone, this substance underneath my skin in sort of a linear fashion. So now that we've cleansed it, I'm going to... Take my needle and go right into the skin. One, two, three, pinch. Okay. Now notice that I put the needle in pretty much all the way. And I'm going to just sort of start to inject the testosterone. And I'm going to start to pull the needle back slowly. And that's it. Now, it usually doesn't bleed, usually doesn't hurt, and we're finished. So that, my friends, is how you do a testosterone injection subcutaneously. So I recommend that you do this about every three to four days. I usually do mine on Sundays and Thursdays. Uh, today's Halloween day, so it's Thursday. Um, and uh, yeah, it works out great. Some days I have to maybe do it on three days or four days, but either way, about every three to four days, you're still getting the same dose of testosterone over the course of a week. You're just splitting it up into two dosages. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this helps out a lot. Um, if you have questions, as always, you can give us a call at our office of Compass Sailor Healing, 615-307-7246. Thank you. Have a happy Halloween.